But what is up, ladies and gentlemen? We are back with a new top five for you guys today. And today we are covering the top five starter dinos that you should tame up first in Ark Survival Evolved. Now, for all those new people here that are starting on Ark due to it being free on PlayStation Plus and just picking it up in general, I would heavily recommend starting on one of the free DLC maps instead of the island, such as Ragnarok, Lost Island. Lost Island is in particular mined for this list, as it does feature an exclusive dino that is found on this map. So I'd heavily recommend starting on Lost Island. Once you do start on Lost Island, you get the exact tames that you need. I would then transfer over to maybe Ragnarok or some other place if you like the look of them more. If not, stay on Lost Island. But without further ado, let's jump straight into the list at number five. Now coming in at number five, we have the trike. Now the trike is pretty much found on every single map that there is. These guys are great first herbivores. They have a low level saddle requirement, which is perfect for getting started on Ark at level 16, as well as that the saddle requirement for it is extremely cheap. A little bit of fiber, a little bit of hide, and a little bit of wood. Now, in order to knock these guys out, they can be a little bit difficult. However, we have a couple of options. First option is to try and find a low level one. You can see here, this one here is only a level 20, so it won't require too much to knock it out. So I would heavily recommend trying to find a low level one. Now, in terms of knocking it out, you've got a couple of options. You can go ahead and use a boomerang if you're able to craft one by gathering sand from the beach, or if you've managed to scround up enough narco berries, you can make trank arrows with a bow and arrow. The bow and arrow requires level 15 to learn and level 20 for the trank arrows. So keep that in mind, you will need to be at least level 20 to try and tame a trike with the bow and arrow. Now, what you need to do is try and find a high vantage point really anywhere that you're able to shoot over the head of the trike and it's unable to hit you will suffice. And what you wanna do is you wanna try and aim for its body. Now, alternatively, you can try and outrun it if you have leveled up your points into movement speed, which is what you should be leveling up to begin with when you start in arc. And what you can actually do then is aim for the leg of the trike. Due to the fact that it takes reduced damage on its head, it won't actually take much torpor damage from being struck in the head. But you can see here a couple of Trank arrows into the trike and it is already starting to run away from us. This indicates that its torpor is very high and that it is on the verge of getting knocked out. So just keep running around it and tranking it and you'll eventually get it knocked out. But like I said, try to avoid shots into its head and try and hit its foot. You can see here now it's starting to run away from us and after about I think five trank arrows, six trank arrows, we have successfully knocked out the trike. So keep that in mind. Once you've got it knocked out, all you need to do then is feed it a bunch of Mijo berries, which you should have a bunch of from gathering narco berries. And all you need to do is whack that into the trike and you'll have yourself your very own trike. Now, once you've tamed yourself your trike, chuck the saddle on it and you'll pretty much have everything you need in order to get started in Ark. This guy will be great at gathering berries. He's great at defending you against predators. Even, such, even a low level one, such as this level 21, can easily defend you against Carnos and Raptors. But your main goal with the trike will be to gather a bunch of Narco Berries, as this is key to taming the higher leveled Dinos and successfully knocking them out with narcotics. So make sure you go ahead and gather a bunch of narco berries with your trike before it dies or anything bad happens to it. But the trike comes in at number five. So guys, before we continue the video anymore, I just wanted to say that I've launched my merch site as well. So you guys can now pick up some juicy CJ the Cheese DJ merch. We've got some funky Rex designs with neon colored Rexes and heads and all the stuff located across the channel. So if you're interested in some merch, definitely check it out. I'll leave a link in the comments, but there is a lot of different merch here. Now coming in at number four, we have two dinos here, the Anki and the Dodicarus. These two dinos here will be key to getting the resources that you need to get a good start in Ark. So these guys, once again, very similarly to the trike, they are herbivores and they are relatively slow. So once again, if you have leveled up your movement speed, you can essentially just outrun these guys, walk backwards and fire trank arrows into their faces. Now do keep in mind with the Dodic that you will need to try and time your shots to about five seconds per shot. Because of it being a Dodicarus, if it does take too much damage, it will roll into a ball and prevent itself from taking any damage. Well, very minimal damage. So keep that in mind if you do plan on trying to tame these two up, but these guys will be great for going about gathering your resources, the Yankee for metal and the Dodic for stone. Now the Yankee can also gather berries as well. So if you do accidentally lose your trike or it does die or something bad happens to it, you can easily replace it with an Yankee granted that you have gone ahead and gathered a bunch of narco berries and whatnot. And just like that, the Anki is knocked out and the Dodic will not be far behind it. 
Now, once you've knocked out your Dodic and your Anki, all you need to do then is feed it Mijo Berries or any other berries you have. Mijo Berries are the best, so you should go ahead and feed the Mijo Berries to both of these dinos. Unless, of course, you have access to Kibble, which, in that case, why are you watching this video for? <laughs> Kibble is an endgame thing, so you definitely want to just feed these guys berries, especially when you're getting started off. Now, the saddle requirements for these guys, the Dodicarus requires level 34, and it does require access to a smithy, which by level 34, you should have access to. And the Anki also has a level requirement of level 36, and once again, also requires a smithy. However, once you craft these saddles for these guys and tame them up, you will be set for resource gathering for quite a while, if not permanently. The Dodicarus is a great stone harvester, and I would heavily recommend using only the Dodicarus to harvest stone because it's absolutely amazing, especially at the early levels. If you do get access to a Magmasaur early, you can definitely go ahead and use a Magmasaur, but Dodicaruses are where it's at for stone gathering. You can also set them to wander and they will automatically go out and harvest stone by themselves. Now, as for the Anki, the Anki is great at harvesting flint, berries, and metal. You will be using this guy as your primary metal harvester because he's an absolute beast at doing so. Now, as well as that, you can also harvest berries using the Anki's secondary attack. So like I mentioned, if something happens to your trike or you don't have a herbivore, you can definitely go ahead and use the Anki to do so. Now, coming in at number three, we have the Raptor. The Raptor is probably one of the first carnivores that you will come across, and these guys are relatively easy to knock out. All you simply need is a couple of Trank Arrows, literally one or two Trank Arrows to the head will result in this guy falling asleep. If you've got the bow and arrow with the Trank Arrows, all you need to do is just fire a couple of shots into the Raptor's head, craft up some bowlers and bowler it before you do so, and that will make your time infinitely easier and just like that you've got yourself a raptor knocked out now like i said these guys will probably be one of the first carnivores you come across aside from like the dillos and stuff like that but if you do knock this guy out they do benefit from a pack bonus as well and they generally do spawn in packs of three or more so do be careful if you find a solo one because it generally means that there is more of them floating around now, once you've successfully knocked out your raptor, all you need to do is chuck some meat into it. You can use raw meat, raw prime meat, or raw fish meat. Raw prime meat will tame the raptors up quicker. However, for getting started, raw meat will generally get the job done quite easily. You can see there, one piece does net at 13% for a level 55. Now, once you've tamed your raptor up, they are relatively easy to get a saddle on. All you need to be is level 18, and you don't even need access to a smithy. Hide, fiber, and wood and you will have access to your raptor saddle now raptors aren't crazily strong but they will be able to take on most medium-sized herbivores such as trikes as long as they're by themselves and you are backing it up but these guys are great for just going out and exploring and just feeling safe because you know you can take the trike out you can take the anki out you can take the dodic out but they're extremely slow and they don't really deal a crazy amount of damage whereas the raptor is fast agile and it can jump and, and pretty much just munch whatever it comes across. So I'd heavily recommend getting your hands on a Raptor if you are just starting out in Ark. But that is why the Raptor comes in at number three. Let's move on to number two. Now coming in at number two, we have the Sarko. Now the Sarko is honestly one of the best hybrid tames that you can get. By hybrid, I mean that it can go in the water and it can also go on land. Now the perks of this is that on land, it's quite slow. You can easily outrun it, kite it, and fire Trank Arrows into it and have a breeze of a time. You can see here, we're literally just walking backwards and we're still able to outspeed it. However, if you do start running, you'll easily be able to outrun it and you can easily knock it out at your own pace with ease. Now, you can also build a trap for these guys. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it because like I said, you can just walk backwards from it and knock it out. Now, once you knock these guys out, all you need to do is once again, simply tame them with meat or raw prime meat and you have yourself your very own Sarko. As for their saddle requirements, they need you need to be level 35 and have access to cementing paste, fiber, and hide. And it's crafted in your inventory. So no need for a smithy. You will need access to a mortar and pestle though in order to get the cementing paste, unless you are on a map where beaver dams spawn in, in which case you can simply grab the cementing paste out of the beaver dams and that will net you all the cementing paste you need for the Sarko saddle. Now, once you've got your Sarko tamed up, these guys are great at traversing the waterways and oceans of Ark, as well as the land. You can see here, we're walking on land and he's still relatively fast. As well as that, if we go into the water, these guys are even faster in the water. 
Now they are able to attack in the water, which means you can attack the Megalodons, the fish, the Mega Piranhas, anything found in the ocean. As well as that, they have access to a couple of good attacks that make them rather good at surviving. And that is the ability to pretty much pivot on the spot and attack whatever it is that is attacking them from their blind side. They also have the ability to grapple small prey and twist it and damage it, such as raptors, other players, anything small like that. Most chopsters even. As well as that, they also have the ability to not utilize oxygen underwater, which is absolutely phenomenal because you can take these guys deep sea diving as long as you have oxygen that is capable of sustaining yourself but these guys are awesome they also have quite a large weight pool for getting started and their stats are relatively decent as well so i would heavily recommend getting a sarko as your introductory team to getting into the oceans of arc because these guys are great one thing i would recommend however is to make sure that it is following you because in the ocean it can get away from you and that is something you do not want to happen while you're in the middle of the ocean so i'd heavily recommend the sarko and that's why he comes in at number two on the list now, the Dono coming in at number one is the Maywing, and this is why I recommended the Lost Island map, because it is the only free DLC map that has the Maywings on it, and these guys are literally one of the best creatures that you can get in the entirety of Ark. And because their saddle requirement is such a low level requirement and they're super easy to knock out, that is why these guys take the number one spot. Now, in order to tame a Maywing, all you simply need to do is wait for it to stop walking, chuck a couple of wooden billboards over the top of it, and just like that, you've got yourself a trapped Maywing. The main reason you do this is because when you try to knock them out, they will take off into the sky and you will pretty much not be able to keep track of them. You can see here's a wild one over here. If we fire a Trank Arrow into it, it'll launch itself off into the sky and you'll have a pretty hard time trying to track it down and, and keep taming it up. So that is why you want to use these wooden billboards, wait for it to stop walking and just spam them over the top of the Maywing. Now you've got a couple of options for knocking these guys out. You can use Trank Arrows, which is obviously going to be your easiest point. But if you are still in the primitive stages, you can definitely use a Boomerang or even a Club. Because they are trapped in the billboard, you'll see here this guy has nowhere to go. You can simply use a Club to knock it out. Do be careful with using a club or a boomerang because you can damage them a bit. But just like that, they're knocked out. Now, this one is only a low level, but even the 145s and the 150s only have a, like a maximum of 1,000 torpor, which is about 5, 6 trank arrows. So you can easily knock these guys out. Now, once you've got them knocked out, you've got a couple of options to tame them. You can feed them meat, you can feed them berries, you can feed them mutton, you can feed them raw prime meat. Whatever you want to feed them, they will eat. Obviously, mutton will tame them up faster. However, berries will still definitely do the job, even raw meat if you have access to it. And they will tame up relatively quickly as well, regardless of what you use. You can see here we've chucked some berries into it and it's getting about 3%, 4% per bite. So, Maywings are definitely the best creature that you can tame in Ark for starting off. Now, their saddle requirements is only level 19. You will need access to a smithy, however, and you will need a bit of metal, hide, and fiber. But other than that, these guys are the kings of traversing the arcs and just getting started in Ark Survival Evolved. Now, once you've got your Maywing tamed up and you've got a saddle on it, let me show you what these guys can do. So, they have the ability to jump. You can ramp up the jump by holding spacebar for longer. And then they lift off and you can glide. Now by glide, I literally mean you can fly because that's practically what you're doing with these guys. These guys have the ability to get around the arcs with ease. They can get around Lost Island with ease. And that is why I recommend once again, Lost Island. Because aside from Genesis Part 2, this is the only map that the Maywings will spawn on. So definitely come to Lost Island first and then you can transport out to any of the other arcs that you like the look of. Now, as well as that, they also have the ability to glide over water as well. That's right, they can glide over water. So let me show you what I mean here. And you can see just like that, they glide over water with ease. As well as that, they're awesome swimmers and you can launch yourself out of the water as well by jumping. These guys are great at doing everything when it comes to arc. As well as that, they can plow through resources as well if you are activating your gliding slide. So I'd heavily recommend getting yourself some mailings. As well as that, if you tame up two of these, regardless of whatever ones you do tame up, they can breed and enable themselves to get more offspring. As well as that, their saddle also acts as a baby carrier, so you can carry babies with the mailing as well. Now, as well as that, they also have access to a belly slam, which can deal a decent amount of damage to whatever it is you attack. You can see there, we hit for 114 damage. 
So still a solid amount of damage. They are also able to attack with their primary attack, which once again also deals a decent amount of damage. So I'd, I cannot recommend these guys enough. These guys are also end game tamed because they just deal so much damage and they're so good at getting around the arc maps that I'd heavily recommend taming them up for anyone. You know, obviously these guys are great. They're also capable of harvesting corpses as well. And they also are capable of harvesting berries as well. All you need to do to harvest the berries is body slam and hit your primary attack at the same time. And that is why these guys are the number one creature. They definitely overwrite the trike. They overwrite every other creature on this list. And that is why they take the number one spot. They have great amounts of weight, great amounts of stamina. They just tick the boxes of literally every single creature across the arcs. So I would heavily recommend getting yourselves a Maywing, and that is why that they are the number one creature on this list. So guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video today. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe down below for more if you haven't already, and I will catch you in the next one.